Action News investigation led the way to a study funded by the Canadian government to find the source of the infamous Windsor Hum. Seven Action News investigator Bill Proctor was there for this afternoon's announcement about this study. And Bill, are they still looking at U.S. companies or Canadian companies as the cause of this mysterious hum? Well, I guess early on they talked about the, uh, the Zug Island, but no more finger pointing for now. After years of complaints, people so fed up with the debilitating noise, they have sold their homes and actually moved out of the area. Now a university study, they hope, will finally find the answer to the question. Where is that horrible vibration coming from? It's a sound that's difficult to duplicate for television, but in certain Windsor, Essex County, and downriver Detroit neighborhoods, its effect on people in recent years now has its own name. A vibroacoustic disease. We've had more and more people coming forth indicating that they are showing symptoms of that. That's Gary Gross, a musician and acoustical expert with some 1,300 Facebook followers, mostly people who have suffered sleepless nights, ear, throat, and heart problems, they say, from the hum. The hum quite frankly, was hurting quality of life here in the city of Windsor. Enter the Canadian government with $60,000 to pay for a contract study and search for the source of the noise by the University of Windsor's engineering school. In addition to permanent noise monitoring stations like this one, this contraption, looking like a spider web, costs a quarter million dollars each. It's called a pectangular array. It's equipment that uh, we can use it to actually take a picture of the sound, very similar to a thermal image, and this is superimposed onto a, uh, either a movie or a picture, because there's cameras built in there as well. It's Canadian cash to do the job, but an international cooperative effort to once and for all find where the hum is coming from. The findings from these studies will provide the issues and then identify what is the problem Problem and what is the source and then potentially how can we deal with it. Previous less sophisticated studies pointed to Zug Island as the source. It's definitely number one on our list but we're also aware too that there are a lot of other industries in and behind Zug Island that may be contributing to the acoustic footprint. The University of Windsor study will run for 10 months. They're hopeful that an answer to the mystery is near. Live in the newsroom, Bill Proctor, 7 Action News. I've been talking to a lot of people in Canada who would certainly like to figure out what that thing is and shut it up. Absolutely. <laughs>